Hey people, what is up? Alright, previously I've been carrying these two tools right here because they both provide a functionality that I wanted. And, you know, I don't really like carrying big old huge multi-tools because I already carry every damn thing else. You know, I carry giant knives and, you know, big guns and all this, so I don't want to have an extra multi-tool, but I do want a multi-tool that'll do what I need it to do, you know, which is not all the time, but when I need it, there's really nothing else that I can find that'll fit the bill. So, previously, these right here have been in my EDC. Now, the reason for that is, you know, this one right here has the pliers. Okay? That's your spring-loaded pliers, which I find very useful. Okay? And the rest of it is, you know, standard stuff, screwdrivers, files, stuff like that. Little, little pair of tweezers. But, um, really all I need out of this one was the pliers because they don't have scissors, which is what I use a lot. And this one does have the scissors, so I carried it as well. Okay? But, you know, I was... On my useful things video, I kind of went over a little bit of it, and one of my viewers on there commented on that video. Commented is Shane of Ruins. Uh, he commented that I should get a Leatherman Squirt S4 since I use the scissors a lot. Well, then I don't have my pliers, but you know, basically, I wanted something that had pliers, scissors, screwdrivers, tweezers, the whole deal. And I actually went to the store. I was going to get a Leatherman Squared S4 as per his recommendation. And I saw one. And then right next to it, I saw something else that caught my eye even more. And it has a little added bonus, which I'll show you. Basically, what that is, is both of these tools in one for me. Take this away. And we got this guy right here. So let me take that off. This right here is the Leatherman squirt ES4 okay now this one right here has a lot of functionality first of all if you look at the sizes here this one's considerably smaller same thickness but considerably smaller than the clutch so there's a bonus it's not a whole lot bigger than the Victorinox so instead of carrying both of these or either one I got this one now and this one provides every bit of functionality that both of these do. Now, if you know this tool, you'll know it don't have tweezers. However, the plier heads on them can actually pull hairs and pull splinters out. They're that good. They're like tweezers. So, I'll show you that in a minute. First of all, you get a knife. Standard on all these. It's a pretty sharp little knife. You know. I'm not crazy about the... Uh, the uh, what do you call that? The one-sided grind, you know. It's only ground on one side, but you know it's decent. It'll sharpen, and it is sharp. So either way, that's pretty good. You got your little uh, scissors, just like in the Victorinox. Let's pull them out there. I actually like the scissors better on the Leatherman. They got a little point to them, a little angled point, which you know they just they work really good. I really am pleased with the scissors. What else do you got? You got your little screwdriver. Okay. A little tiny screwdriver tip, which is you can do all kind of things with that little tip right there. Including cleaning your fingernails. And you got your flat bladed tip or your uh your thicker tip, which is also a decent little pry bar. You know you don't want to pry nothing too hard with it, but it can pry some small things up, you know, little uh covers on your car if you need to get a fuse off or something just a pry little things like that up then you got your bottle opener okay what else do you got you got a file which got your one side different side here and then you got your little file on the bottom too so it's like a three-sided file decent let's see what else what have I showed you scissors that that all right so there's that that's all the tools on the outside and you know when you open it up you got the coolest thing I've ever seen wire strippers which is very useful for me because I do electronics work and uh, you know I, I, as another hobby of mine I build computers and electronics so this right here very useful 
you got your wire cutter and you do have your pyre head now I never use these pliers ever to torque down on anything so this area right here is useless to me I don't need to you know torque on these just I use the tips I use the tips for pulling things out or you know splinters things like that that's what I use the tips of these for that's why I needed them so you get that here you get that small little tip needle nose and let's see if I can do this let me grab a hair if you get the very tip of it on that hair pull you probably can't see that I'm not zoomed up enough but it did pull the hairs out so if it'll pull a hair out it'll pull a splinter out you know you can get in there and dig whatever you need to do or you can do fine detail work with it they're decent very decent but your wire strippers that is what turned me on to these I love this your wire cutter and they're spring loaded as well so they always stay open for you so you don't have to sit there and you know do this number popping them open and all that and you know they're just extremely compact I mean you get all that in a virtually you know not much bigger than a Victorinox I mean you know it's wider it's gonna have to be wider but as far as like you know the size the width the carry width look at that that right there is just you know amazing to me Whoops. when I saw this I was like yep that's the one I gotta get that one now they had the one with the plier heads only and they had the one with the um, scissor heads only but this one right here was a no doubt purchase for me and Leatherman, you know, they make extremely good quality tools, so. And you can adjust them, too. I don't know if you can see there. See these little pivots? Those are adjustable. Little tiny Torx screw bits. You know, you can adjust those to however, you know, ch change your tension and all that. But out of, out of the box, how it comes, very. You see how it snicks open? See there? Very good, very good solid lock up and everything on every on all the tools it's just it feels high quality now I did pay around 25 for this one I believe and it's worth it very worth it I can see this being a very good companion to me at first I was like I don't know about it because I need the tweezers you know I really like using tweezers on my uh, Victorinox I really like that but those plier heads work well as tweezers I've done it several times trying to confirm that your scissors so you know you got your tweezers and your scissors which is what I used out of here the most so let's just go ahead and take that away here what did I use the plier heads you know the tip of the plier heads and uh, maybe some of the little screwdriver bits so this got everything out of both of those tools so previously it was that now I can just go to this so you will see this tool taking up permanent residence right here on my keys so life's short stay sharp